In conclusion, you all fucking suck. You suck, dumbass. Dead ass. Bobo ass. Dead ass. I know you're probably not even gonna watch this video, because let's be real. You're fucking pussy. I'm a pussy? Bitch, you're a pussy. I'll fucking fight you right now, Crypt Active. I'll fucking debate you right now. I'm a pussy? You're a fucking little pussy bitch for fucking crying about some random having the fucking tweet on a Sonic video. This is what you're crying about, by the way. This is what you're crying about, by the way. Let's look at it. Look at why is there no significant visual difference between the two Sonic and Sonic fucking frontiers? That's what you're fucking complaining about, bitch. You fucking pussy ass fucking. You have no fucking idea, dude. Take down the fucking video. Take you're down the video. Take down your fucking life, dude. I'm helping the situation by adding more fuel to the fire. Take down the fucking video. I'm not. Take down the video. Take down the video. Take down this video, idiot. Take down my fucking... Fucking... <sighs> okay. 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 Do we get more alcohol or less at this point? I'm in rage, dude! <coughs> but it's funny. It is funny. Okay, what what are, what are, what are, what are, what are people doing? Lists, drama, what are people talking about? Come on, come on. What's the drama right now? Come on. Fish tanks? Come on. Uh, her wife sent me nudes and blocker. Dude, Leafy ripping into Destiny, bro. Honestly, bro. Leafy is fucking awesome, dude. Destiny is a little cuck pussy, dude. And I'm glad he's getting destroyed. Idiot, dude. Destiny's a retard. Okay. Tears of the Kingdom already sold over 10 million. W based. What? My friends think my haircut stuck dick in a toaster. Okay, buddy. Why are you talking about cocks and toasters, man? What are you talking about? What? Bo Blacks love autistic pussy, and you're question marking, bitch. You talking about fucking lactating trans people? What are you talking about, bro? Why her? Don't use my mental health issues as a shield. Okay, first of all, um, having ADHD is not an issue because it it makes me adorable, and having autism is not an issue because it makes my pussy fucking slap. So please do not refer to the most positive traits that I have as issues i mean true but also like what do you what do you what do you mean question mark man i don't get it man but true man that's a good that's a good dude autistic pussy man come on i'm so fucked up dude do it more drink more drink or no dude do it do we go up or down bro the black channel looking trans bruh bruh up or down, dude? Up means drink. Down means slow down, bitch. You know what I'm saying? What are we getting with the drama? Double date with Destiny's wife and Zerka? Dude, Destiny loves seeing his wife just get fucking pegged in the asshole in front of his, in front of his eyes, dude. I don't get it, dude. If you have a wife and you love them, wouldn't you want to be the one to, like, give them sexual pleasure instead of jerking off to other men trying to fuck her in the ass, dude? I just don't get it, man. Destiny's whole, like, thing, like, like the open relationship. Okay, I get it. Whatever. But, like, the whole, like, wanting to see, like, and these, like, your political opposites, too. It's like fucking, it's like if Joe Biden wanted to see, like, his wife get fucked by Donald Trump. Like, it just doesn't make sense, man. It's just weird, man. Like, he has some sort of humiliation fetish, which is fine, you know, but, I mean, people should be able to joke about it and acknowledge it and stop bowing down to Destiny like he's a god, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, what else is here? Dang, guys, you get in the fucking, whew! We're going up? We're going up. Guys, we're going up. Are we going up? Are we going up? Crazy. You guys better fucking give me money for this shit, man. This is optics hell. This video, this stream is optics fucking hell, dude. And it's going to be members only. So if you want to become a member, become a member, give me money because this is this is vods one hundred percent going members only. You fucking lucky to see this live. You better not be recording with OBS if you do. Don't blame you because I did the same thing with Keemstar. Fuck, dude. You better not be recording with OBS, man.
You better not be recording with OBS. Cots flocking member. They might record. Thank you for the money, but I might be fucked. I might be canceled because you became a member, but thank you for the money. But will it be good in the long term? I don't know. You're obese, uh, Illuminati. So true, dude. Illuminati. Look, I'm big, dude. Big. Okay, I'm getting more. I'm getting more. I'm Twenty. That's a lot. That's a lot. Thank you so much. That. How much is that? That's like over a hundred dollars, bro. That's insane. Thank you so much, Clats of Lock. And genuinely, thank you so much. And a lot of people have access to the VOD. But, but guys, by the way, okay. Let's be real. Okay. I'm drunk. I'm just having fun. Okay. Nothing I'm saying is like super, you know, from my heart. Or like, oh, I really hate these people or whatever. I'm just kind of going off for fun. I'm just having fun being drunk. So I do want I do want to like preface by saying like hey, like if you actually are going to like record and expose me with these memberships like I'm I'm just having fun. Like obviously I love everybody and like I wish everybody the best and have them more fulfilling lives. Uh and I really hope that this doesn't come off as like hateful or like uh, I'm attacking anybody or I'm like I'm, I'm like I hate anybody because I literally don't have any hatred in my heart. It's only just for fun. But uh, with that being said, thank you for the 20 members. Let's uh, fucking go. Let's go. Okay. I, I'm <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. Okay. This is the last dose because I'm going fucking wild, bro. This cup's the last one. I'm going fucking wild, bro. And only 60 people get to witness this. Isn't that crazy? All of this could be clipped for, like, a, a insane YouTube Exposed video. Like, insane. Like, I'm going off, dude. Like, really? Like, des imagine Destiny seeing that clip. Oh, do, 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 do. oh I'm so... Uh, man, I'm Destiny. Uh. Stupid-ass debate, bros. Oh, my God, bro. Why does everyone take life so fucking seriously, dude? Tips retweeted. What? Okay, what's this? So it's like, it's talking about titty milk. Cause you guys want me to cover titty milk? I will. Dude, by the way, twenty gifted subs from Cast the Flock, and that's insane. That's insane. That's fucking insane. We gotta recognize that. And then the five dollars from Elope Man ninety four. Thoughts on rotisserie chicken? Yummy. I kind of want it, bro. I'm dude. Lyrics. I'm going nutto. Okay. Okay. Naomi, the t the trans titty milk woman says, this is not, this is not true. Spreading these disgusting lies and trying to dox me in the very thread is a vile act of violence. Change a gross person. They filed a false police report and blah, 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 blah. And then Rihanna Rook would grow sweets and says, I have not wanted to get involved in this, but you but can you transphobic nutcases leave Naomi the hell alone? Having a newborn is stressful enough for a parent. Last thing anyone needs on Twitter is getting involved with parenting choices. If they care about their kids, shut the fuck up. Dude, why do people take Twitter so fucking seriously, dude? Just tweet some dumb shit and live with your fucking life, dude. Like, turn off the computer, man. Like, what, what, what people give a fuck, bro? I just don't get it, man. People take the internet way too seriously, bro. Getting doxxed about tranny milk. Bro, why like why is this girl like going on Twitter and like like flaunting their like trans titty milk, dude? Like, okay, we get it. You fucking breastfeed your kid and you're trans. Like we get it. Queer joy. Oh, I'm giving her my trans titty milk. Oh everybody, look, uh motherhood's beautiful. Look at my trans tits. Oh, look at my uh, subscribe to my uh, subscribe to my fucking OnlyFans, dude. Whoa. Spicy links, guys. Like, like, oh, the pretty sure it's milk, guys. Look, I'm fucking trans and I'm giving milk to my kid. And by the way, also subscribe to my OnlyFans to see my big fucking cock and titties, dude. Whoa! OnlyFans, guys. Wow, crazy. Like, fuck off, man. Really?
Just fucking separate that shit. Like, get off Twitter. Like, why is your life on Twitter, dude? Like, why is your life on Twitter? Why are you, like, telling the whole world? And like, oh, I'm so glad to be a parent and have fucking trans titty milk in my kid's ass. Like, fucking, you know that's gonna cause controversy. You like, you like the attention? You like, you're a weirdo? Like, just fucking live your life, dude. Like, why do you fucking give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Fuck, dude. I'm sorry, but fuck. Like, what, what, what's with Tipster, like, getting, like, fucking retweeting all these trannies all the time? Like, who cares, dude? Like, it's like, like, why are you even getting involved, man? Like, who cares? Like, being trans is awesome, but, like, why are you, like, making 90% of your content like trans shit like does it do people really want to like you're not transster you're tipster like i don't trans breast milk like what like adult content creepy stepdad like i don't know like he makes so many videos about like only fans girls and trans people and like not so much trans people i don't know like trans is fine I love it, you know. I love a girl with cock, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it's just going, like, nutto on the fun. Like, man, Tipster's just been going nutto, you know? He's just been going nutto. He's just been a little nutto, dude. He's a little too nutto. A little too nutto. You know what I'm saying? This member, oh, this VOD's definitely going members only. Whew. That's why 20 of you getting subs is very uh, good, very good. Fuck, dude. Imagine if this gets shown on H3. That'd be so embarrassing, dude. H3? Really? Why they gotta be stalking me, dude? Why can't we just have fun, dude? Dude, sometimes I'm just, like... I have to, like, hold my tongue on so many things. It's like... Sometimes I just want to go off, dude. It's just nice to go off. And, like... I don't know, Tipster's just been being weird, dude. Don't you agree? He's just been being, like, fucking weird. Like, let's be fucking real. Let's just cut through the bullshit, dude. Like, Tipster's been, like, talking, like, why did he make a video on, like, Naomi's TS? All right, chat. So there's something. 47-minute video. Let's watch it. Fuck it. Let's watch it, dude. I think I wanted to talk about with you guys in my last stream. But I didn't really get an opportunity to talk about it it, with you guys. So we're going to talk about it now. And I'm actually glad I waited because originally, like, I had, like, a bunch of, like, you know, technical mumbo jumbo that I was going to go over and stuff like that that probably would have just went over your heads and bored the shit out of you. Uh, But it's a good thing I waited because ultimately the person involved in the situation ended up doing a video of their own on it. And we're going to react to that video. I'll just kind of give my thoughts as we go along. But I want... So what seems so what tweets is so so it seems the big left versus right argument in the next few months is going to be about titty milk. Like, what? Wait, who's talking about? The only person I've seen talking about fucking trans titty milk is Tipster. The only reason I know about nominal Naomi and her fucking trans ass titty milk is because of Tipster. And like, okay, fucking feed your kid, your trans milk, whatever. But why are you making a spectacle of it online? Like, that's like behind the scenes in your private life. You know people are like against trans people in general. So why would you go like online and try to like, show off like oh, i'm a trans person with titty milk like what what so you can like get people to get mad and like make a bunch of attention on you and like get popular like what are you using like tranny titty milk to like fucking get popular off your kid like what are you exploiting them for like i just don't get it man i need to show you guys a tweet you know that kind of perfectly embodies my thoughts on the argument or the discussion rather that we're about to have right now uh basically a couple days ago i tweeted out the following So it seems the big left versus right argument for the next few months is going to be about titty milk. Yes, you read that right. Titty milk, lol. (laughs) Okay, why? We're going to be talking about titty milk today. Why are we talking about titty milk, okay? We're talking about titty milk because of this. You guys may remember a content creator that we reacted to a debate they did. I want to say the debate we reacted to was about maybe a month ago or so, something along those lines. She did a debate with another creator known as Kelly Cadigan. I said it right this time because I kept saying Cardigan. It's Cadigan, okay? Kelly Cadigan, a.k.a. Discount Blair White, okay? That's what some people call them. But she did a debate, okay. and it was a debate about trans issues. But somehow, the debate led to Kelly, in a roundabout way, kind of defending slavery. If you guys don't remember that debate, I did a reaction on this channel. You guys can go check it out for yourselves. But 
Namina Naomi kind of went viral over the past couple days because she posted a TikTok that literally made a bunch of far-right individuals super, super mad on the internet. We're talking like people went crazy aggro about it, right? Okay, As a matter of fact, TikTok? you can see this uh, Twitter page called Clown World actually tweeted out her TikTok video. Uh, what the hell? I'll just play the TikTok video so you guys can I, I see exactly I see. what we're talking about here. So here we go. Trans women can indeed lactate. We follow the- Because by the way, I'm very, like, I think Tipster's been going a little nutto in terms of how, like, how far he's going. With, like, it's just over the top, right? But I'm very pro-trans. I'm very pro-equality. You guys know all of this, right? So, like, let, let and I'm far from far right. I'm, like, center-left. So I'm going to hear this, you know, and, like, let's listen. Let's see. Goldfarb protocol, a medical protocol designed to help women, women induce lactation if they were not, like, getting pregnant themselves. Okay. I'm going to be a mother. Okay. Um, that's in the works, in the process. Okay. And part of that process is that I am working to induce lactation to be able to breastfeed our youngest child. Yeah, actual, actually mommy Naomi. I've actually already successfully induced lactation. Like I can actually make milk now, um, which has been a, a very, a very interesting and very cool experience. It's like very biologically <sighs> affirming too, uh, which is something that's like, like gate kept from trans women, like so, I'd... so difficult, both mm. motherly and cow. So the, okay, like, wait, cow achievement. Okay. Okay, so there's the. T Dude, like when I okay, here's my issue, right? Trans women are valid. I think g having gender dysphoria and going through transition is great, but obviously they were born as a biological male. They don't have wombs. There's other like biological things, right? Doesn't make them any less of a woman. It's a thing. And then for like essentially like lactation wise internally the the they're like um biologically male that part of the body right and forcing like a male tit to produce milk it just feels like it is so forced and unnatural and I feel like it's it just number one it grow it it, 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 it it icks me out a little bit because I don't like it, it just feels like. Like, I'm just imagining, like, my titty getting, like, sucked and, like, forced milk out of it. It just seems, like, painful and unnatural and just, ugh. I don't know, like, if the estrogen produced the milk or if this could be done on a man with no HRT and it's just, like, something that's, like, absolutely forced to the brim of their uh, body. But it just feels, like, a little weird, right? So, Maybe I don't know the biological stuff around it, and maybe I'm wrong, but it, that that's what gives me the uncomfortability of, like, imagining me having, like, my titty just, like, fucking sucked out so hard that uh, that it forces to produce milk. So, th to me, that already is uncomfortable. Although, I don't know how it, uh, estrogen and HRT and whatever would affect the male body in turning it into a more lactating-producing breast. Like, maybe that's a thing. I don't fucking know. Maybe that's a thing, okay? Um, but second, it's like, why, if, if you have this, like, milk that is so for, like, you have to do treatment to get it out, and it's so forced out, right? You have this, like, very, like, this milk that never wanted to come out, you know, the forbidden milk, right? Uh, why would you give that, that milk probably isn't as healthy as, like, the birth mother's milk, so why would you give that milk to the child instead of the biological mother's milk. Like, it feels like... Like, like wouldn't it be better for the child? Like, it, it is just, like, keep the child's health in mind. Like, I don't know. It, it just seems a little selfish. Like, oh, I want to be a mommy, so I'm going to do this. Like, keep the child's health in mind. Like, will, will, that, will that be as healthy for the child? You know? Like, literally. Like, we Maybe, maybe there's studies on it, maybe I'm wrong, but th those are the, like, innate feelings I get where it's like, yeah, you can be trans and it's great that you're, like, um, you know, you feel biologically formed by producing milk and being a mother, like, uh, you know, someone who was born a woman, uh, would experience and it's really affirming and it feels great, but, like, is it good for the kid to have that milk over the, you know, naturally produced milk? Now, obviously, there's formulas and stuff, but that's based on you know, the natural producing mother, like, is there, like, stuff in that milk that would be unnatural because it's, like, forced out of the male 
tit, essentially. Uh, like, like I, I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know. But those are the feelings I get. And Tipster obviously doesn't know either. But the fact that Tipster is so willing to just go out, go like, yeah, this is fucking great. Like, I feel like, well, is his judgment being clouded by becoming friends with some of these tra these other, these people? You know, like, it, it's just like... Is his ma like, is he not thinking as clearly? Like, I feel like these questions would naturally come up, you know, out of concern. And then if they get an answer from Naomi and something, I'm, 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 I, I would assume he would want to share that with his audience. So let's continue watching. Maybe he does like share that with his audience. Like, hey, you know, this is what I heard. And now we'll put my mind at ease. But right now, like my, I'm a little unwary. So tipster, tipster in this video, I'm trusting you. Put my mind at ease. Come on. TikTok in question. Tell me what's okay? okay. So basically, I saw this TikTok actually on TikTok when she originally put it out. And my response to that was, hey, congratulations. Because number one, you know, motherhood is something that's very exciting, right? Yeah. Motherhood is something that's very exciting. Yeah. But the other thing is she's talking about like how, you know, she's lactating. She's basically induced lactation and she's going to use the milk through that lactation to feed the child, right? And so... Maybe it was just because I've passed biology that I know that, hey, whether you guys realize it or not, both, uh, you know, assigned at male at birth and assigned female at birth bodies, both of them have the ability to lactate. Like all of the necessary oh. hardware is in there to lactate. It's just what makes it actually possible is, you know, a difference in like the hormones and shit like that. That's what actually makes it possible. Right. So men. Is man milk the same as woman milk for the baby's health, though? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it, is it, is it the same? I mean, tips are past biology. I didn't, so maybe let's see. And can technically not lactate. It's just they don't have that hormone balance to actually make that process take place right so is it the same um, though? when i saw this i didn't think anything of it i'm just kind of like oh that's kind of cool maybe it is the same can we look up are we, are we gonna look up titty milk thing men men lactation versus woman lactation well, well men produce some hormone women have much higher levels Okay. Is there a difference between male and female link? Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, fuck. Let me go back. Not this, but before. Um. Scientists have found that milk that mothers produce can vary different quantities based on the uh, baby's gender. So if there's a difference in that, there must be a difference in being a male versus a female for lactating. Strange but true, men can lactate. But what will the milk be like? Men can lactate. This whole conversation is so uncomfortable, man. I don't want to think of the idea of me lactating, man. It's just not... Oh, oh. Wow's top tips are talking about this so casually, man. Well, Mito, and she's going to be a mom. Congratulations. But uh, a bunch of people on the internet took issue with it. So we're actually going to talk about that. As I mentioned earlier, Naomi put out a video of her own talking about this situation and how everything kind of exploded. So we're going to play some Resident Evil 2. And while we're doing that, we're going to react to her video, kind of give our thoughts as we go along. So without further ado... Pa -pa 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 -pa. Play that shit! Here we go. I just want to be able to share my moment of trans joy on the internet. And if, if the trans folks are going to be triggered about that, if they're going to deny the reality of trans joy, that's just too specific, man. It's like, can we start treating people like people? Like, the whole point is, like, we want everyone to be treated equal. Like, why do you have to say trans joy? That's like me saying white joy or man joy. Like, why, why can't we just, like... Okay. Lactation. If they're going to deny the reality, human beings are mammals. If they can't understand that basic biology, I'm just going to lean even harder into trans joy. So I am officially. Well, like I said before, like 
maybe it's just because I did well in biology class. I remember being like super fascinated in biology class in high school. But like, yeah, that's what it's uh, fascinated by those big fucking titties. But things they teach you is like both uh, born male at birth uh, or born female at birth bodies are capable of lactating. Like we have. I feel like if it's a man, you're like forcing it. Like we don't naturally lactate. I feel like if you were getting to get a man to lactate, it's like a fucking vacuum. It's like it's like torture, dude. It fe- it feels like you'd have to torture a man to get him to fucking squirt, man. I've, as men, we have the necessary hardware in here to be able. What, have you fucking naturally squeezed out tits, fucking milk out of your titties? Once, it, do, if you get fat enough, do you start like fucking leaking milk out of your titties? Like, oh. Like what? It feel like if you're a man and you like like I feel like milk would naturally come out of a woman if they're like given after they gave birth and everything. But for a man, it's like you, you gotta force it out. Like it's like what it feels like torture, dude. Our body because that process takes so place natural, during man. childbearing and like giving birth, right? Yeah, technically, guys. Technically, we're all trans. All men are trans. Because we're born with default women characteristics or in the womb we have those. And then like whatever determines our gender it transforms it into man. So it's like we're initially woman and then it gets transformed into man. Or it doesn't and then you're a woman. So We're all trans, dude. Um, that process takes place at that time and there's like a hormone sort yep. of reaction for lack of a better word. I'm not a doctor so I'm just... Dis- yeah, you're either... We born weak, or you're flooded with the god gene, the god fluids, and get turned into a man, dude. We're literally upgraded, dude. We're upgraded. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Equality, equality. <laughs> Describing it as best as I can, but there's a, like a, a a reaction to like hormones that happens in your body that results in the lactation, right? Now you can induce that lactation and actually a lot of adoptive parents do it and also parents that have like a surrogate mother do it, right? So that they can lactate okay. and they can breastfeed. I don't know why he knows this. Is, is this like common knowledge? Is this common knowledge? I guess if you're like a woman like thinking about like having a kid or having a kid and you like look up on it like, yeah, oh, yeah if you look up like all oh, women, you can induce lactation, but... In a man, it's gotta be different. Dude. It's gotta be different. Maybe I'm wrong, dude. It's just gotta be different, man. Not saying she is a man. I'm just saying, like, if you're born a man and then turn into a woman via estrogen injections, would the breast milk be as, you know, well, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on. Their child. Come so on. it's not like this is like some new process that hasn't been done before. It's not like something that hasn't been studied for safetyness or whatever. Like it's something that's been done as far back as the early 2000s. Because she's mentioning the, I think it's called the Newman Goldfarb protocol. She'll mention more of it in this video. But this is proto fucking called in. Something that has been done since the early. T- Why is this a video on Tips' channel? Naomi, new me, Naomi, no, Naomi breaks the internet with over tr- breast trans, dude, trans breast milk, dude, why is this a video on YouTube, why am I even watching, why is this drama, how have we fucking devolved in the commentary community to the point where we're watching Tipster, fucking talk about goddamn titty milk, dude, trans titty milk, what, what are we doing, what, wasn't it b- about uh, thinking about like psychology and arguments between people and all that interesting stuff that comes along with drama or just g- genuine entertainment? Who's looking at fucking Naomi Nomi fucking putting out fucking milk and being like, oh, this is entertaining. This is some entertaining drama, dude. I'm really entertained right now. Like, what? This must be the most boring shit. Who's gonna watch this and be genuinely entertained? I really want to hear about like fucking Naomi Nomi or Naomi's trans milk, guys. Oh, <laughs> Well, the only people watching this video is pedophiles, dude. I don't even know why I uploaded this, man. Fuck, man. Have we lost sight of what YouTube's about? It's about entertainment, dude. It's about making people laugh. Making people smile. Making people have a good time watching it. And does anyone have a good time watching Nominal Naomi Breaks the Internet over Trans Breast Milk by Tipster Live? Honestly, like, I thought this was about having fun, dude. I don't know, entertain me. What? 
How does fucking Xyli stream saying, I don't know, entertain me, have more views than this fuck? Like, I could fucking drop the nuclear codes to YouTube, like, at this point. Like, I could fucking say the most... I Behind the scenes, dude, I know so much, bro. <sighs> Lovely shit about me, and then the second and I turn up, like, tr like true, like, and a this has more are, views. Like, oh, oh, he's here! Kill him! A small commentary community is insane. Literally watching this shit over me. The small commentary needs, like, a fucking kick in the ass, bro. I did wash my hands. Me kick in the ass, dude. All these people are like, ooh, Alex Gekmo. Ooh, fucking Leia something. Nicole. Like, you need a kick in the ass. I'm really watching this shit over me. Like, really, dude? Really? <sighs> Goddamn. Goddamn. God damn, God damn. Did Destiny block to Leafy? Really? Holy shit, what a pussy, dude. Oh my god, what an absolute pussy. What an absolute fucking sensitive pussy, dude. Holy shit, really blocking Leafy, dude? Wow, okay. I got wow. So far for Mr. Fucking Res so much for Mr. Resilient dude. So much for fucking being the hardest fucking motherfucking debater in the world. You're just wow, you're sensitive. Wow. My god, I did not know jokes upset you that much, bro. Considering what you say? Really, Destiny? Okay. Holy shit, man. Did not realize it ran that deep. Keep crying, bro. God damn. Really? Beefy? Okay. Oh, fuck. Wow. With this goofball? Literally, look, he's saying shit in all caps and saying the most ridiculous shit. Ugh. Destiny's wife broke up with me. At least I got the news. Like, it's a joke. Like, are you, are you really that, like... Humorless and serious? I guess I've never really laughed at your content, but you know, I thought you made good points. Never really laughed at. I guess humor's not really your thing. I thought like some of the, your sarcastic comments were funny, so I thought you were more of a comedic guy. But uh, seems like you take shit a little too fucking seriously. Okay, I didn't know you were sensitive, man. Damn, that's a shame. That's a shame. Oh well, I guess people are gonna push your buttons. Couple more people are gonna push you to the point of blocking them. Damn. Damn. All right. All right. I don't know. Entertain me. Okay. Wow. You guys really like Xyli more than me, then, huh? When you all fucking go to Xyli, then, huh? Fuck off. I'm sending you all there. You like Xyli so much? The never. Damn. Your videos, videos from other channels. Have her, dude. Fucking have her, dude. Fuck it.